Hi everyone, Dee Hendricks, Clinical Specialist with Plenmeca USA. In today's video, we'll be going over contralateral from an existing tooth. When doing a contralateral from an existing tooth, in the Setup tab, you'll set up everything like normal. The only difference would be Library. In the Library, you want to choose Pre-op. Then you'll go to your Scan tab. You would scan in the Pre-op of your patient, Information, then you'll scan in your upper with your prep, and then you have your lower and your buckle bite. Now we're going to move to the margin tab. The margin tab, you'll do your orientation first, which typically pops up first, and then you'll mark your margin. But you've noticed here I already have my margin marked. So now we're going to go to our pre-op editing tool. We'll click contralateral, and then we're going to click trace. We're going to trace tooth number 8 all the way around. And the reason why we're tracing tooth number 8 is because we're using the existing tooth to be put on tooth number 9. So you have all your information drawn in here. And just like marking a margin, you have the move curve so you can make adjustments as need be. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and go to the plan tab. We can go ahead and rotate, move our tooth if we need to. Just so it fits in its spot correctly. Then we'll go to our design. And you'll notice since we selected pre-op, it's already highlighted pre-op. So all we have to do is hit apply. Now once the tooth is morphed, you'll notice that tooth number 9 morphs in to look like tooth number 8. And then you can use the design tools to adjust the tooth as needed. Thanks for tuning in for today's video, Contralateral from an Existing Tooth. 